All right, nerds, welcome back. So I've done a thing. I've gone to the dark side. I got some games graded. Sent about six games into CGC, and I've recently gotten them back. So I thought I'd go over the games, what their grades were, talk a bit about the whole experience, share some pros and cons, and kind of get my thoughts on grading in general. Let's get into it. Now I know how some of you feel about grading. Right, it's a scam. You're just doing it to jack up the price. Games should be played. And I hear you, trust me, I hear you. But for me, it wasn't really about any of that, right? Four of the six games I sent in had sentimental value to me. And the other two I sent were just kind of throw in titles that I had planned on getting acrylic cases for anyway. So I thought I'd just spend the extra money and get them graded. So let's go over the grades, right? I sent in six games. So let's go over each game and what it graded at. Starting us off, we have a Monopoly for the Nintendo Entertainment System. It came in at a 9.2 A+. Believe it or not, Monopoly on the NES was my preferred way to actually play this game. You didn't have to worry about picking up pieces, losing all the money, all that good stuff. You just turned your NES off when you were done and you were good to go. Next, we have Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back on the, also on the NES. It came in at a 9.4 A. This was one of those throw-in titles that I decided to throw in and get graded also. I actually got this as part of a trade at Retropalooza last year. Up next, we have RBI Baseball, the gray cart version. It came in at a 9.4 A+. And this was the other kind of throw-in title that I happened to find at a game exchange for like 20 bucks two years ago. Up next, we have the Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster for the Nintendo Switch. Yes, I got some Switch games graded. I am a huge Final Fantasy fan, and I absolutely love the original Pixel Sprite Final Fantasies. This one came in at a 9.6 A++. Up next, we have another Switch game. We have Celeste, the limited run version. It came in at a 9.8 A+. Celeste is one of my favorite games that I've ever played. I first played it on Xbox Game Pass a few years ago, and I think I bought it for literally every platform. Since I already had it for so many other platforms, I thought that I would keep this one sealed and go ahead and get it graded as well. Now last, but definitely not least, we have Final Fantasy VII Greatest Hits coming in at a 9.8 A+. Final Fantasy VII is by far one of my favorite games of all time. And when I found this sealed copy, I absolutely had to have it. So those are the games that I had graded. So let's talk a bit about the experience. Before we get into all that though, I gotta give a special shout out to my boy, Retro Neo Ness. He was one of the main reasons that I decided to actually do this. He answered all my questions and was there to kind of calm any fears that I may have had about sitting in my games. So much love to you, man. Big shout out to you. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. Go check him out. So let's chat a bit about the overall experience of grading your games with CGC. Overall, it was pretty seamless and easy. Their website's really easy to use. You just simply go there, enter in the games that you want to have graded, fill out a little bit of shipping information, and then they give you a form to print out. You just send that along with your games and basically just wait. They track your games every step of the way. They give you status updates on their website about where your games are, where they are in the process, and then eventually they'll post your grades there as well before they ship them back to you. Overall, the turnaround time was really good. It only took about 11 days from the time they got my games to get them back to me. They shipped them back to me in some very nice packaging. The games were very well protected, so they did a great job on that front. Overall, the cases are pretty nice. Now, I don't have a lot of experience dealing with WADA or VGA, but I really feel like these cases are very durable. I feel like my games are very well protected and they display really nice. Now those were some of the pros of having your games graded by CGC. Now let's get into some of the cons. For starters, the price. It is very expensive to grade games in my opinion. For six games, it cost me a little over $300 to get them all graded. That was about 40 bucks a game, plus a little on top for shipping. On top of that, in order to grade with CGC anyway, you have to have a paid membership for full grading privileges. And they have like three tiers of membership that are paid and I'm on the lowest one, which is about $25 a year. There are some membership tiers that are like $300 a year. And I know $25 a year doesn't seem like a lot of money, but 
it kind of rubbed me the wrong way that I'm paying you in order to use a service that I have to pay you for anyway. I'm not sure if WADA or VGA does this, but CGC does, and that kind of was one of the cons to me about it, on top of the price of Game Games graded. One tiny little nitpick that I have about the cases, though, is how they display the seal grade. It's kind of hard to see it, and I really wish they would do something to kind of highlight that seal grade. They highlight the overall box grade really well, but the seal grade seems kind of hidden. Whereas if you look at places like WADA, the seal grade just kind of pops out so you can really see it better. It's a small nitpick, and I understand that they kind of want to keep it all uniform between how their comic grades look and how their video games look, but I think it would add a little bit of extra pizzazz to the cases to really highlight that seal grade for sealed games. Now, one kind of weird thing that happened to me, and this is pretty rare from what I've heard, is that my games actually stopped updating on their website once it got to the quality control portion of the process. Normally after that, it gets finalized, your grades will pop up, and then it'll go into like a ship status. Mine never did that. To this day, it still says it's in quality control. I didn't even know that my games were done and ready to be shipped out until I got a FedEx notification and my game showed up on my front porch a couple of days later. Now this wasn't a huge deal for me as I was fine waiting for my games to get here to see the grades for the first time in person. But for people that are really anxious to see what their grades are on the website, this to happen to them would have been pretty terrible, I feel like. Overall, I'm pretty happy with my decision to get some games graded. Um, like I said, it was a little expensive. I'm not gonna lie to you, it was expensive. But I think in the end, it was worth it. The experience was cool. Seeing all the grades I got for the first time was really interesting and fun. Um, and overall, I really just like the way these cases look. It makes the games almost feel frozen in time, kind of. I know that sounds weird, but that's the best way I can describe it. In a way, it kind of, it kind of makes my nostalgia for some of these games even greater than it already is, especially Final Fantasy VII. So, overall, if I had to say would I do it again? Yeah, probably so. I do have a few more sealed games that I may send off. So, we'll see what the future holds, but overall I was very pleased with the process. Now, like I said, I know some people feel the way they feel about grading, and that's, that's perfectly fine, but Overall, I say that if you're really thinking about getting games graded and you don't mind the price, I'd say go for it. It's a pretty cool experience. How do you guys feel about graded games? Let me know in the comments. You can also hit me up on Twitter or Instagram. Let me know what you think about graded games. I'd really like to get your opinion. But anyway, that's all I got for today. We'll see you guys in the next one.